Now for some seriously spooky Halloween grub. Little Demon Hammy's Halloween Party. First, some sinfully rich devil's food cake. Here are all the dry goods you'll need. Sift them into a bowl. Now the wet stuff. Whisk all into a bowl until just combined. Now combine the wet and the dry until fully combined. Pour your batter into 6 inch springform pans that you greased and lined with parchment. Bake at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes or until the knife inserted comes out clean. Like that. Let them cool completely. Here's what you need for the frosting. Combined sugar, instant espresso, and cocoa in a small bowl. Pour on some heavy cream that you've lightly scalded. Mix with a spatula until everything's dissolved. Place in the fridge for two hours or until chilled. When it's cold, whip it with some whipped cream cheese. Mix it until it's just combined, then whip it to stiff peaks. Go easy, you can over whip it. It should look like this. Neat! Now we can frost our cake. Add a generous amount of frosting to the bottom half of the cake. Spread it onto an even layer. Now put the other cake half flat side up. Apply a thin layer of frosting around the outside just to cover. Now refrigerate for a couple of hours just to let it set up. Now you can cover up the rest with the remaining frosting. Mmm. Now slice yourself a small slice. It's pretty rich stuff. Tasty. Next! Hobgob donuts, which are made totally out of artificial ingredients. Like cake mix, soda, and a little bit of food color. Trust me, it works. Combine all ingredients in a bowl until it's just combined. Grease up your favorite donut pan with some no-stick spray. Then, you can fill all the cavities halfway. Tap the pan until the batter is nice and even. Then you can bake them until they're just cooked. Ooh. Turn over the pan and they should fall out once you loosen them a little. Now let's make some icing. In a small pan, combine powdered sugar and a little bit of milk. Cook on low heat until a glaze forms. Carefully dip your donuts in. Or you can pour them on. Stuff is pretty hot. Hit it with some rainbow sprinkles. Easy as heck, and totally bad for you. Yummy though. Anybody else got a candy craving? Now for a truffle that bites back. Chuck Rock. First, line a brownie pan with foil. Here's what you'll need. Put the chocolate, cream, salt, and a little bit of honey in a small bowl. Nuke it for 45 seconds. Stir it until it's just combined. Then add vanilla and a little bit of butter. Pour it into your prepared pan. Now allow it to sit at room temp for 4 hours. Don't put it in the fridge, otherwise your chocolate will get grainy. When it's set, turn it out. Remove the foil and slice into 20 to 30 squares. 
While you're at it, get some crunchy chocolate cereal and a little bit of cocoa. Okay, now lightly dust your hands with cocoa. Roll a piece of chocolate into a ball. Then roll it into your chocolate cereal. Nice! Once you're finished, place the finished truffles on a small tray and freeze for two hours. It will get them nice and rock hard. Now you can put them on some pretty candy liners. Makes them look super fancy, especially if you're going to give them away as gifts. I like them straight out of the freezer. Look how hard it is to get through them. Super tasty though, even if they do break your teeth. Yum. All these sweets are making me thirsty. For fragrant tea. It's an easy tea to make. It's just a blend of hibiscus flowers and your favorite Earl Grey tea blend. Put your leaves in a carafe of a French press. Pour on some hot water and let it steep. Want to turn a super tasty shade of red. After about five minutes, you can press down the filter and pour it into your favorite teacup. Sweeten it with a little bit of honey if you like. Now all that's left to do is party with all your sweets. That and come down from your sugar high. Happy Halloween! Did I make you hungry? Follow me on social media or hit up my Patreon to support future videos. All the links you need are in the video description. Also, check out this video. I think you'll dig it. Make sure to subscribe too. I'm planning a whole month of Halloween treats, so you don't want to miss a tasty video. Smash that like button and drop a comment too. I love to hear from you. Until next time, take it easy friends. Bye!